Hello, in this week's video we're looking at another web curation service, uh, in this case Bag the Web. So having logged on either with your Facebook account or your email, you can create a bag. Here's a bag I've created, so I'm going to open this bag. You can add a divider such as this one, which gives you like a title. You can add a link, you can add some blurb, which you've got here and you can add additional bags. So it's very easy to add a link. You choose link, you go to the site where you've got a link. So we'll just do a Google search. And you copy your link, you add the title, And the URL, you can add a description. And click add. And that appears there. If you click on the cog, you can add an image. And that can be either a link to an image or you can upload an image. That will allow you to edit or remove your post, but it also allows you to order them. So we can move it down, or it lets you drag and move it. Adding a divider, so you can see I've got a divider here which I can move up. And the divider just allows you to categorize, add subcategories to your bag. So there you have it, when you've created your, your bag, you can change the image of it. you can alter the privacy as well. So it can either be a private bag, an unlisted or a public. Uh, and there you have it, a really quick and easy way of creating your own bag and creating content. And it's a skill I think is really important for both teachers and students with such a wealth of content out there. It's really key that you can create and share content um, it's also possible to look at what other content has been created by people. So there's a range of bags, you can search them and you can see the other stuff that people have been curating already. So we just dive in and have a look at this Twitter for Education. We can see how others have used it. So they've put a description, they've added an image, they've obviously published it so it's public and then they've got a whole range of different items that they've added to that site. So whether you want to create stuff yourself or just look at the content others have, have created for you or curated for you, then uh, check out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please tune in again soon for more EdTech videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.